Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So I've decided to up the timeline a little bit on this. I'm going to end this series, I think, a little bit early. I've got three more episodes I want to do. We have the Urban Mechs fighting their last battle. Uh, it's actually a, a half skull red mission, which I think is like half a skull above five skulls. So that should be interesting. And then we've got um, the Dragon's Rejects going to be fighting the battle right after this one. And then the Night Gaunts will do their final battle. And they're all going to be like at least five skull or above. Could be one, half skull red, two skull red, just to see what kind of comp competition we can get in the higher difficulty levels. So this first battle, it is a base defense mission. And it's in the desert. Like I said, it's half skull red. We've got all of our Urban Max and our four vehicles um, deployed here. Looks like we've got a Zeus and a Victor um, as our support lance. And the enemies are, so, they said the enemies were dropping down over here. Now I'm re re super, super concerned that it's more than one lance because it wouldn't let me deploy anywhere in the city. I was hoping to move my Urban Max like at least in here to get behind some of the buildings and, and such. but. There is no way to do that. So this is as close as I could get. So this may end really, really fast. <laughs> but anyway, let's just jump in here, see what happens. They may blow the buildings up like right away. Although these look like they have got a crap ton of health. And as long as they decide to try and target these mechs here, we could do really well early on. And I don't think we'll pull down a lot of mechs. And if they decide to land most of their next units up here, we may be okay. Um, so yeah, I have no idea what to expect here. Uh, let's get, why am I getting extra, it's saying I can move further, but It was a weird sort of landing too. It didn't let me cluster like land. It had I had to like land individually. Anyway, we'll just move up to here. Got it, Commander. I don't think we're gonna spot anybody just yet, but we'll move up. I know there's prob they're probably like right here. And I could take a shot, but how much ammo do we have? We got a mortar six, we've got inferno, we got fast scam, acid. So not a lot. Well, we got six turns. Hmm. Six turns of each fast game and acid. Tell you what. Let's drop this. Like here, maybe. I could use fast game, but here's the problem. I don't know where their path is. I'd be wasting one turn of, of firing. And we got... Like, there's going to be assault mechs coming in the next, like, lances, so... May I interest you in let's see if we can get armor. a hit. Nothing. That's fine. We had the... We got ten turns to fight, so we might as well just take a shot, see if we can get anything. Okay, we got somebody right here. See what I mean, though? Like, I don't think these buildings are going to last very long. <laughs> Although, they do have a crap ton of hit points, like 700 and something. Although, against the assault mechs, that's really not a lot. Who do we have next? Ready for orders. Alright, beef feeder. Oh, okay, you got an LBX. So, you need to... Yeah, see, I don't know what the deal is with this. You need to see your opponents. Let's go... Um, man, we're so far away. Like, even if I had all assault mechs, this, is gonna, this would be problematic too, because one, I can't see them. And two, they would move slow like these guys. Right? So it's not like I would be able to get there anytime soon. These guys are just gonna have free reign until like for at least two turns. Yes, Commander. But I guess that's just the nature of the uh On the move, full speed. The um random start locations, right? Yeah, I still can't see anybody. Um, chaff maybe? So we had a guy like right here. Let's drop some chaff over there. Copy that. I don't even know if I hit. It won't let me go up there. Light damage, Commander. 
I've been getting that a lot too, where my pilots will say, Oh, I took light damage, but they never even got hit, so I don't even know why they're saying they took light damage. What are your orders, Skipper? Alright. At least you got a half decent amount of speed. This is our second AMS Mark II. Let's get these guys. Let's move here though. Let's get these guys into the second All AMS. Right, let's move. So these guys are protected. We got the other first AMS over here, so hopefully we'll have a nice little wall here of AMS protection, at least for the first few turns anyway. At least the buildings have got I've scaled up hit points. Like if they had only 320, it would be over. Like <laughs> by the by turn three it would be over, I think. Especially since we can't see the enemy. But I, I'm kind of I'm a little comforted by the fact that the enemy mechs were like right here. That leads me to believe there might only be one lance. Oh, who do we got going up? Orders. Life mode. All right. Um, can't get. It. Wow. So I keep. Uh, we're really slow. It's spread out though. A little bit. On my way. Double time. Nothing. What can I do for you? All right. At least you've got a little bit of speed. Going turbo. Oh, we got somebody here. We got a longbow. Oh wait, what the heck is the six H fifteen H? That's like a whole. I, I have not seen that before at all. Um, how hot is this guy? Can we tell? Can't tell. I know longbows run hot. Let's leave the ER e medium off so maybe we don't hit the building. And we'll drop the inferno, inferno mortar round on him. This is telling me how much heat this produces when it fires. Um, but I didn't ask for that. Maybe I hit something. I don't know. It's acting a little weird, so I really hope it doesn't crash on me. I was compressing some stuff while I was loading the game, so I'm wondering if that's causing an issue. Alright, let's just drop some inferno on him. Alright, so he was a little bit warm. Can't get in there, eh? I was really hoping to get in the um, mineral field. I guess we take the shot from there. We gotta shoot. Can't not shoot at this guy. Wow. It is turn one, so I mean, it is what it is. I'm not gonna waste a warlord on a shitty shot like that. We'll wait till we have a better chance to hit. I think. Reading loud and clear. All right. Um, looks like we're not using the mine dispensers on these guys because they're right inside the base. Can I get? I can get over there. I'm on it. So I think the Lombo's already gone. Ooh, who's the second guy back here? Oh, it's just a griffin. Just a griffin. Yeah. <laughs> Says the urban mech, it's just a griffin. Don't worry about it. Uh, we got eight turns of fire with this. So let's hold off and we'll get a better chance next turn. Ah, man. Since we can't get over there, I'm wondering, do I use my mines or not? 150, that's not, there's no point. 155 armor on the legs. Although the Griffin's probably got significantly less. It's probably like 110 or something, or 100. Yeah, 100. Hmm. Let's wait. Let's fire, just fire the large lasers this turn. And we'll think about what we're doing. Whether we're going to lay the... Ah, it's also going to depend on where the, the other enemies come from, right? The mines aren't going to be too, too much help. But if we can get in, them in the right spot, Receiving you. we might be able to pull some legs. Alright, um, you got LRMs. I'm going to move over here so we're a little bit farther away Roger. from the other mechs. Full speed. And we've got a pair of LRM-20s with LK. What else do we have again? Thunder and Standard. So 
So we've got that's six turns of firing. That's two turns of firing, one and a half, and three turns. So let's go with standard for this turn. We'll get a couple of blinks probably. Wish I had Inferno ammo, but yeah, have eight points. Man, we're gonna this Order. is gonna be brutal if we cannot come up with a uh Oh, you can get in there. That's not bad. Let's get right there. Got it. Now, what's the chance to hit? Pretty damn low, so let's switch this to Inferno. Just so we don't blast a building by accident. Copy that. Yeah. At least they're in fire. Good to go. Okay. Uh Cloudbuster. Yeah, let's go this way. Roger, full speed. That'll put us in range for next turn. Hopefully get a shot at them. Yeah. Alright, now Hornet. We've got incendiaries. Sam and standard. So standard at LRM 60, that's almost five turns. That's two turns. And that's two turns. So you have nine turns of firing. So I think turn one, we are not going to fire at all. I would really like to get a direct line of sight on somebody if I could. Let's go back this way. Mmm, armor is 60 all around, so it doesn't matter what side. Just go here. Let's move. We'll start firing second turn. We've only got nine turns of firing, so... Okay, round two. Who's up? Turn around. You have my attention. Yeah, you're about to get their attention too, I think, if you, like, stay in the open. Um... That longbow, it's like, it's going to kill you if it sees you. Let's go... Remember, we've also got somebody over here. Let's stay behind the building. Let's move over this way. Confirm. Okay. we got an archer and a cyclops. Do I raise the... Get the ire of this... Archer? Uh, if I don't shoot him, he's going to shoot the buildings. Now, he's got 40 tubes, so that's about 160 damage. That's a lot if they all hit. But if I raise the ire of this guy, that's all going to me, which I don't really have a whole lot of armor. <laughs> um, do I fill this side with mines? Let's use one dispenser on this guy. We'll take a shot. Ah, man, we're going to hit him too. With the dispenser. Oh, you know what? This might be the last shot we get with this. Because of the position we're, we're in. If this guy's got follow leader ammo, we could be toast. So, let's put them both down. Let's warlord this. I mean, I guess we could... Um, OP this guy. Come on. That's the longbow. There's the archer. 46, 61. Do we try to core the guy? Like, I mean... No, I think we go after the legs if we're dropping mines. If he loses one leg, then we're pretty much assured that the turrets and stuff could possibly finish him off. So let's go that way. Okay, we got one on the leg. Mines look like they got a good Short spread. We'll find out here in a out. second. Yep, not bad. So that half of the uh, compound is off limits to us now. Oh, man. Warm up, buddy. So he had an LRM 20, probably? Find out in a second here. Yeah, we got all 20 of them. Burning through the ammo, but if we can keep these two guys alive, they've got another, like, what? Mm, probably three turns Waiting to get out. Orders. I played a uh, Half Skull mission like this before, Half Skull Red, and I had two Atlases to start as my start uh, 
allies, and they never Onward. made it to the uh, the circle. That's how bad the op opposition was. They just they, they didn't they didn't even get here. They were trashed before they got there. So that's how scary these are. Um, Warlord it. Take a shot at this guy. Uh, we're gonna go with acid, I think so. How hot is he? Not very hot. Hey, wait, he's standing in flames, right? Yeah, let's go with, um, shoot. I want to save the acid for the big boys. Do we hold off on this guy? And I think we're gonna drop, um, that's only 33% though. Oh, he's got arrows. Let's drop some acid on this guy. That'll give our two assault mechs that are coming up a chance to do a lot more damage. I mean, it's it's marginal, but still, anything is better than nothing. Come on, shoot the uh, longbow. Or not. Good damage, though. Alright, now... Um, Let's not get too close to our eye. Uh, it just puts us right in longbow range. Now, where did you take the hit? Okay, I don't know. Let's get to here. Affirmative. Okay. Um, sensor lock him. Help a little bit. Uh, apparently he's got no evasion anyway. Because of course he doesn't. Follow the leader. His arm's up for for uh, disposal, looks like. We'll go with the rockets early. See if we can pull the griffin out of the battle. Let's try it. Let's see if we can kill him on this run. I don't think we will, but... He's got a, if he's running an XL, which I think he probably is. Yep, there we go. Okay, bonus. No short range missiles remaining. Now that'll force the Zeus to shoot for the longbow. Or the archer. Sure. Maybe he'll shoot back. Actually, that's actually good for us, because he goes on what, 19? Standing by. You're direct fire. I mean, we should probably um, engage the longbow with you. Probably. All right, that's the left side open. So we're not gonna, I'm not gonna bother using the sensor lock because this guy didn't really even move. So let's get a shot on him. Um, I think we've only got cluster, right? Yeah. ER medium. I wanna put the rest of the mines down. You know what? We got a lot of mines. It's a gamble to put the mines down here early Hoping that more enemies will be coming from that direction and actually move into the mines. But I don't know if I'm going to get another shot with these. If this guy decides to use both arrows on me and he hits, I'm in trouble. You know what? Let's hold off. Let's let's just keep it positive. Rockets? How much has he taken here? Not much. Let's just go this route. Roger. All right. Yeah, so rather than 30, we did 31 because of the acid. So, I mean, any extra points is good points, right? Cyclops. Okay, keeping these two in battle. Yeah, man, that uh, half skull that I tried to play with a yes, another playthrough. Holy crap, half skull um, red is just brutal. Eesh, do I go direct fire? But maybe use like... Inferno. Or tandem. If we go tandem and we hope for a... Um, what would the chance to hit be? 56. That ain't bad with a warlord to be around 60. Yeah, you know what? If we're going to win this match, we got to take risks, so let's go do this. I hate to lose 40 tubes of uh, LRMs, but if we can get this, 
Uh, I'm going to go with the Rockets as well. Use up the heat early. But I'm going to drop... Um, the Rockets to back here. I don't think we'll open up this torso, but if we do open the torso, um, the Rockets will have a bare torso to hit as opposed to uh, the Tandems. I would rather that, that, so at least we're doing more damage in total, because the Tandems split the damage between the armor and the internal. If they just hit the internal, they're only doing a certain amount, so at least the Rockets will be able to do full damage if we penetrate. All weapons are good. Come on, give me a crit. I'm out of short range missiles. Yeah, no no crits. He's almost lost that torso though. If he's running XL, which he probably is. Yeah, baby. Yes. Both both AMSs. Receiving you. It's only two arrow shots though, so let's see if we can get you in here. That's not a bad position, although we don't want to have the building close to where we're going to be shooting. So let's get you around, see if we can pen that torso and drop this longbow. Yeah, I'm not going to, uh, we're going to warlord it. I was going to say I was going to do a, um, a uh, called shot on this or a uh, offensive push, but I'm just going to shoot this guy in the torso, hopefully hit the torso. Firing on target. Nope. He's super hot though. Standing in the mines and being in the heat, I think those, no, the mines don't actually add any heat, but when they explode, they I know they can start forest fires and stuff, so. Yeah. Glad I fired those mines. We survived it. I just took a heavy hit. You think? Hopefully he doesn't go before Thanks, you next Amanda. turn. Urban tanks got lots of armor. I want this guy up. Yeah, fuck this. These extra dots are really bothering me. I want him up close. All in out. Hopefully people will target him. Alright, let's go after this guy. Dropping everything. Warlord it. Hopefully we can get some torso hits. If we had a better chance to hit, I'd, I'd do an offensive push, but we don't, so... Oh, that hit the torso. Those are going for torso. Solid connection on that one. Yep. I'd love it even better if he just bailed out. He's like, nope. I don't know. Ooh, now do we go after that guy? How badly damaged are you? So you took like almost 50 damage from the mines. Um, I think we go after the, uh, as much as I want to go after this archer, I think we gotta got to try and take the shot at the longbow. We're gonna go with the mortar. 2037 was guy today. Airburst spreads. We might get a crit on that torso if we go airburst. We got acid too. And fast cam. Do we drop more, drop more fast cam down over there for the other guy coming up? I'm gonna go airburst. Hoping to get a crit on that torso. Locked on. Okay, we got one hit in the torso. Not bad. Nice. Got past his armor. You did. Ready to rock. Okay, Monsieur Lemon. You got the AMS. Not that worried about this guy now, knowing that he's only got arrows. He's only got arrows. Uh, we want hits more than anything. Let's go with these. Mm. Actually, let's save those because I don't know how far away the enemies that are going to be arriving are at the moment. So we'll go with these. Hopefully we get the torso. I got you. Looks like it's going there. Yep, two of them. Three of them. Is that a kill? It is. Target down, Commander. Two down. Commander. All right, Skippy, I need you to heat up this, uh, actually, don't even move. Actually, yeah, let's get out of there. Give you a better chance to hit. Worst chance for them to hit you, but also worst chance for you to hit them. Let's just roast this archer. I know it's probably not the best place to be shooting this infernal round, but, uh, okay, he's in fire. Yep. 
Now, um... Move up a little bit, try to stay in the AMS. And then let's switch, we got, we're already on incendiary. This archer runs pretty damn cool, but... Um... Yeah, I'm not going to waste the incendiaries when I can drop them on somebody else who might be overheating later on. So let's go this route. Copy that. Hey buddy, what's up? Please feel free to shoot back. I hear ya. Got some AMS to take care of that bullshit. Okay, move up here. Uh huh. This guy again. Um. Got it. It is. No sweat. Okay, a little bit. I go on 20. When does he go? 22! Crap! That could be really bad. Commander. Um. We gotta drop him. Do you think you got the juice to drop him? I don't know, but that's a pretty damn good chance to hit. Uh, we might be able to leg him. Get to follow the leader's hit. Firing. Oh, they missed. Fuck. Oh, I hate that. I had to take the chance. Well, he's down to 20 in his initiative. So the Cyclops goes, that means we might go before him. In which case I can pull turn around in there. Let's hope they don't have a lot of missile boats in the next wave. We'll know next turn, but... Um, because if they do, my, I'm gonna, I, we're just going to have to take it because the AMS is going to be empty. So our, our two guys should be next, like pretty close to being out. And hopefully they can hammer that Cyclops. So, it's allied turn. Looks like 21. Hope I'm not blocking him. I think I am. Shoot. Now yeah, he might get a shot at this guy. Oh wait, it's our turn. Yes, I hear you. Oh, we go on 23. Well, well, well. Now, do we run the risk of trying to take this guy down? How badly damages that leg? Not enough. Don't think we've got the juice for that. Uh, let's get out of harm's way for a moment. Mm, I'm gonna go... Jeez, doesn't matter what I do, he's gonna see me, eh? Let's move here. Affirmative. It might give us a better chance to hit that leg. Um, I'm not going to use vigilance. I want to save. Um, I want to save my uh, resolve at the moment. So let's just hit him. The mortar. I know we're hitting some of our own buildings, but they got a lot of hit points. They could take it. We got to get damage on these guys, or we're in trouble. Oh, you're not shooting. Oh, you can't shoot. Oh, yeah, you could have. You could have positioned yourself. You could have done it. Archer's turn. What's he doing? He went for the carrier. Okay. Come on. Send me a real mech warrior. I await your command. That is fortunate for us. That's a side shot. We got tandems. <sighs> it's not enough for a kill. We just don't have the juice for a kill. Let's move to here. My big fear is the end of this turn. 
I don't know where they're where they're gonna come. I'm gonna draw some acid on this guy. Drop a tab of acid on that guy. Hit him. Or not. Confirmed. You can leave the hitting him to us, I guess. I, I don't know. Where was that line? Right there. You got it. Not the best environment for us either. Uh, we gotta take it. I'll take the heat. Uh, what's the chance? 75 he's got there. I think we just shoot him. Here we go. Okay. Watch my heat. Yeah, yeah, you'll be not Waiting shooting next orders. turn probably. And yeah, don't go near that guy. Um. LBX though. Can we get a shot at the archer? I guess not, eh? I mean, I could just stand behind these guys and hope the vehicles absorb some shots if this guy decides to shoot at us. And let's go with the rockets early. We'll try to do as much damage on this guy as we can. Okay, at least a laser hit. All right, stripping armor. I'm out of SRMs. What's up, boss? Yeah, man, I, I had a really low level lance when I did that first uh, half, like the first half skull red, and um, the opposition was like a couple of battle masters and an awesome. I can't remember what else, but I ended up being able to pull it off. It was in a jungle one. It wasn't up on the hill. It was the one down in the valley. I was able to pull it off because they were spread out and they didn't really have that great units. I had two uh, Raptor 2s as my um, support mech, so they got the turrets online almost right away. The turrets had heavy firepower, and I actually ended up surviving, took down two battle masters, and then Unity crashed when, I, <laughs> when the mission ended. It just crashed, and I'm like, are you kidding me? Let's go with LK. We've only got one up anyway, so let's just fire the LK. Hopefully the other launcher comes back online. Yep, nice. Receiving you. Yeah, so I was able to pull off that first mission, but now it's like it really it's really gonna depend on the net. there's gonna be at least two more lances. So it's eight guys. They could technically all be assault mechs, so I have to be very wary. Uh, we wanna go with, uh, we're gonna go with acid on this guy, I think, again. you commander all right you got a mortar as well just back up I read you commander moving out I really hope they don't appear behind us because I, I, I did decide to play that half skull mission a second time to see if I could get it and win again because I was gonna I was destined to get an atlas out of it I thought I'll just try it again and then the, the, they ended up with two lances at the beginning I had two battle masters they both got trashed and then uh, on turn three, their reserve lances dropped behind me, and that was the end of it. I just, everyone died. It was like by the beginning of turn four, there was like nobody left. It was so bad. Standing by. But that's what'll happen if they spawn behind you. Got it. I'm really hoping they get one lance here and then like one way over here. Because then I can just lay mines down in the far one. Line these up in case we pen. Hopefully we get a crit. There we go. Give me a crit. Ah, UAV destroyed. Ah, that's something anyway. Solid connection on that one. Um, but yeah, Stand if we get by. one down here, that's fine. They're not behind us. And if we get one off to the flank over here, the worst case scenario is one spawns right here and the other one spawns right here. That's worst case. All right. Um. Let's get a little closer if we can. Okay, once again we're going to go Inferno. And um, I'm going to Warlord this to see if we can actually get some damage in on this guy. Firing all there you go. Target neutralized. Holy shit. 
Waiting for orders. I never would have thought I would have been like almost through the entire first lance before uh, the enemy got reinforcements. All right, well, you can't see him, so don't bother moving. It'll give you a better chance to hit. Where's that archer? He's hiding on us right here. He's just staying quiet. He's like, shh. They won't see me. Oh, we see you. What do you need? All right. Um, you need to get up here fast and get within AMS range just in case the enemy shows up behind us. They're going to target you first. So it's, I know it's going to lower your chance to hit, but... It's okay. fine. I'm on it. Oh, take a leg. Nah, it's all upper body. Heads up, Commander. All right. You've got hostile contacts. So they do have one back here. It's far enough away that if it's assault, it's going to take them all out. Get to us. And they're all back here. Let's hope they're all back there. It looks like they are. Well, hello there. Loud and clear. You guys know that I've got some mines for you. Archer goes on 24. So I'm going to re actually reserve my turn. Let him figure out what he's doing. Who's up next? Orders. Let's pull back. Copy that. All right, and now we've got... Oh, I don't have any fast cam, really? Should have checked that before we started. Chaff on this guy, though. Docking on. Nice. Got past the armor. Solid. Oh, that was a clan double heatsink? 5kh? Oh, it must be the... Um, Kelhound version. Ooh, Legend Killer. That's not a good thing. That is not a good thing. At least the archer will be dead. We don't have to worry about him up here. Alright, now don't move. Actually, we need to get your mind dispensers up there. Or do we direct fire this? No, we want to save that guy for turnaround. So let's get over, over here. Copy that. Next turn, we'll get those mind dispensers going. All mines on deck, people. Uh, legend killer. Are we in range with the mortar? We have to be. Yeah. So we got fast gam. Where do we want to drop it? So we've got Victor, Legend Killer, Fritz Strike Craft, Banshee, Marauder 2, Stalker, and a Battlemaster, Quick Cell. Yeah, I installed a quick cell just in case you're wondering. Let's drop um, Shrek Command Tank. Let's go here. Doesn't saturate it with very many mines, but we do have a couple of uh, mine mortar carriers I'm here. that I'll uh, saturate the same area with. Uh, we got fast cam, right? We do. Back up. Let's not let them get a good shot at us. Once again, activate ability, attack ground, saturate this a little more. Get that going. So that's a mortar 14 in that location. Turrets are beautiful time for the turrets to come online. Now hopefully our two mechs don't lose their legs going through the minefields in front of us. Actually, I can solve that problem. Yeah, see? Shit, that guy's got to go. That's the victor. Okay, now I know who it is. Commander. Um, yeah, let's not uh, be over there. They got the range and the firepower on you, so let's not be over there. Let's back up. I copy. Should be able to drop, take a sh uh, cluster shot against this Afrit, though. Yeah. Um, he hasn't gone yet. I mean, I could use the uh, sensor lock, but... Engaging actually, it target. might be too far away. Yeah, shoot that down, buddy.
Don't hide! Oh, nice. Take him down. Ah, well. He tried. I'm gonna drop an HE round, I think, right here to clear up this wall. Actually, maybe not. Ooh, that's not bad. Yes, Commander. Yeah, you're out of laser range here. Although, not for the Ifrit. So let's back up behind the rock here. Hopefully this rock gives us enough protection for one or so turns. Take a shot at this guy. It's kind of what you're designed for. Yeah, nothing. Nothing. That didn't hit. No, it didn't. We may pull this off. If they decide to not go for buildings and just deci decide to target us, we could pull this off. Do they think they can hurt me? Oh, well, then they know they can hurt you. Ready for orders. They know they can hurt you. Moving to position. All right. Um, Victor, I have something for you. Roger that. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy that. Ah, yes. They've got a lock on me. Well, thank you. That's. I guess they were like. Commander. <laughs> Those guys don't deserve to live. They, they couldn't even take down a base against Urban Max. We better get rid of them. Uh, that Victor's going to drop another round back here, probably. So let's back up. Got it. Please. All right. Um, now. Three turns of thunder. Put the first one right here. Locking on target. Uh, should they have hit? Somebody did. Didn't say how many were hit. Tell me what you need. Need you to get the hell out of there. I was going to have you attack the. Uh, I'm on the move. The archer, but might as well just back up, get your stability back here, and we'll drop a mortar around on one of these guys over here, like the victor, probably. He's got. With the, he's got with the big gun, so. Let's get some damage in on him. Alright, a little bit of damage. Orders? Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. You got your mind dispenser ready. Let's drop some heat. Where can we get? We can get up on the top here. Oh, we can't get that far. I mean, are they going to ever make it this far? That's the question. You know what? Let's hold off. I think I'm going to bring them around over here and try and shoot it down into there. The enemy moves so slow that they're going to get the full impact of the mines. Yeah, our AMS is out of ammo already. That's a quick sell random mine attack. There's like a scatter mine for quick sell or something like that, like a fast scan, but it just spreads them like randomly everywhere. What There's no big grouping at all. Okay, you got a mine dispenser 10. Man, I, I don't like the idea of being... Actually, that's not too bad being in the... Uh, we'll take that. At least it'll give them plus four to... Or minus four to hit me. Mine dispenser. Do we have... We do have fast cam. Here we go. Right, Commander. I wish I could go up there... And, see where they're hitting. Okay, looks like they hit All out of SRMs, Commander. across here. Actually, that's not a bad spread. I mean, it's not going to do a lot of damage. It's only a mine dispenser 10, right? But it'll do a little bit. As long as we're applying a little bit of damage every turn to them, if they get hit by a big strike, they may decide to bail out. To go. 
let's pull you to try to keep us separate from everybody else because that um, this guy here has got the big artillery piece we're going to drop some LRMs on this guy Knowledge. wear this victor down real fast if we can yep uh, same thing with you but I want you in the trees and right here copy that thank you so we've got what do we got we got inferno and Sam So that Efreet, I believe, used its AMS to defend the victor earlier. Damn it, why won't you target this thing? Victor, Legend Killer, Efreet Strikecraft, here we go. 18%, we'll take a shot at him. Roger. That's not bad, I'll take that. I don't know why you're sensor locking that guy. These are the turrets? Probably. That's nice. Keep them nice and toasty. Ooh, ACs. Okay, they're just AC2s. Okay. Six rounds still to go, including this one. Yeah, he's come out. He came out to play. At least he's going after the turret. Now we can kill that guy. You have my attention. Does that a Fritz strike craft have your attention? Let's give it to him. He's being a dick. Let's be a dick right back. Not bad chances to hit. We're taking him. Confirmed. Got one on. Is that one or two? I think it was just a one. It's a lot of damage reduction though. Yes, enjoy those mines. So they gotta kill five Great buildings. Order. That's the big problem for them, is to having to kill five buildings. Going. If it was only two, I played a match where they had to kill two buildings, that would be... We would definitely lose that one, but they might not be able to pull this off. Uh, let's put this here. Engaging. I gotta say, I mean, the benefit, I mean, I, I know you guys know this, but the benefit of uh, fast cam mortar ammo as opposed to LRM is that fast cam mortar ammo doesn't get shot down, right? Um, so you can use it against uh, uh, targets with AMS and not have to worry about it. All right, let's go with both. Actually, we're going to sensor lock him. He, he's, yeah, lock. he's got to have at least plus one evasion. That's not bad. Locked on. Excellent. The laser hit two. Commander. So we got three ER lasers. That guy's got a lot of. Um, Good to go. Missile hard point. So let's get some chaff on him. I wonder if he's got two points of evasion on him. Got a lock. He did. Not anymore. He probably has like three or something, but what does he got left in the front? 47. Uh, let's go with chaff just in case we don't kill him. Firing on target. You know what that means? That just means he's not shooting down the uh, 60, uh, 60 tubes yep. of uh, SAM ammo coming from our LRM boat. That's what that means. Okay, buddy. Uh, it's my dispenser time. You're super hot. This mech, I was never, never able to cool this thing off. It's got regular heat sinks in it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Where was that? Come on. Do I have to target one of the guys?
Where was it that it, the... There it is, right? Where was it? Right here. Oh, come on. There you go. There you go. Fire it. Shoot. Well, I think a few of them probably landed. My short range missiles are out. Yeah, a couple landed. So I thought he would have had less AMS, but apparently not. Victor's not Waiting getting his stability order. back, huh? Yeah, we want to shoot from the front. So the one thing I have noticed, and I don't know if this is a coding change, but remember I've been saying for the longest time, whenever I shoot at a vehicle from the side, I either hit the front or back. Whenever I shoot the front, I hit the sides. Now I've been noticing that that's kind of reversed. So if I'm shooting from the front, I'm hitting the front more often. Don't know if that was a code change in Rogue Tech, or if it's just I'm noticing things, something different. I don't know, but it just feels... Ah, crap. Just feels better now. Um, when you're no when choice. you're when I'm when I'm targeting vehicles personally, I don't know if anybody else has seen that or not, but it's just been since the new update, which I, I didn't think would it really affect it, but apparently it seems to be doing that. Ooh, nice leg damage, baby! You're welcome for all the help in the leg. Oh, he's gonna lose that leg as soon as he moves next turn. Yeah. All right, we got more mines here. But that guy is still shooting shit down, so let's just back up a little bit here. Stay below his missile uh, view range. Drop some more fast cam. Um, I'm going to sensor lock this guy in case he does have one more evasion pip. Sensors. He Locked does. Off. Now we're going to drop the fast cam elsewhere. Um, let's make sure we get... Well, I really want this Victor gone. I know we dropped some here already. This guy's going to be in the valley. It's going to be a problem for him. And I know they they fired. I don't. I can't remember if mortar rounds. Uh, are they going to go up the hill? Because the legend killer did that. He went up this way. So I've got a feeling these guys will too. So let's do that. Because I know some of the mortar rounds now, I think it's standard mortar rounds will clear a minefield. Whereas I think in the past they didn't. And it's only if you miss your target. Like if you hit your target, then you're fine. It's like an HE round from a thumper. If you hit your target, it doesn't clear the minefield. But if you miss, it does. And I know the Inferno rounds don't clear a minefield. 24, not bad. Inferno rounds don't clear Order. minefields, which is always a bonus. So you got thunder. You got thunder, and you got thunder. Actually, you know what? We're going to reserve. I want to try and take down that Ifrit first with the uh, with the carrier, LRM carrier. See if we can shoot it down. Because if we can, then I don't have to worry about losing any mines. Yes, Commander. I say we got a pretty good chance to win this one. Confirmed. Okay. Straight on. Firing. Got it. Alright, so I don't think we have to use the LRM carrier against this guy. We've already blown through the armor. The turrets might take care of him. Come on. Stop lagging. Okay, so that's just, uh, what do you call it? Okay, that one hurt. Yeah, I know, you got a lot of armor missing already. That's the sky. What's it? I can't even remember the name of the damn munitions now. Plus heat from fire. LRM on jam. Yeah, see, they're just puddling, puttering around back there. But they can do a lot of damage, so, at range, so it's gonna be, um. Commander. It's gonna be a tough one. Do we go up to the victor again? This guy's got no heat gauge. I think we shoot the Victor again. This guy really still is the uh, threat. Target acquired. Nice. Two hits for two. 
Yeah. That's like super rare for me. Um, all right, how badly damaged are you? That was a rotor hit. Okay, we're just gonna go right after you with the Sam then. Let her rip. Damn, this doesn't work. Oh, I'm sorry. Goodbye. And stay down. That's a lot of missile tubes gone Killer off the battlefield. All right, we got thunder coming in now. Um, let's make sure we get this legend killer's leg. This is about the commander. only type of battle I would ever um, attempt this kind of thing on with Urban Max, the defense. There really is no other fight that we could win, I think, than this one. All right, let's drop this in front of the Banshee. Actually, we're going to drop it here because this guy's determined to go this way. Time to die. Fill that in a little more, I think. It's not a lot, but any little damage to the legs make them unstable. Okay, Hydra ammo. There goes the leg. No? I think they probably got the juice to pull buildings down if they just focus fired the buildings. I'm listening. But the AI won't do that, so I'm probably going to be just fine here. It was killing that that uh, main lance early. I'm on it. Bringing down that longbow. Let's see if we can take this guy's leg. Or his side. That works too. Reporting a critical strike. Just don't blow his head off because I want to get that uh, special targeting computer out of him. Yep, enjoy those mines, baby. 33 damage, we'll take it. Good to go. It's more than we can do in a single shot from pretty much any one of these guys, so <laughs> we'll take the 33 damage to each leg. That's pretty much free damage at this point. Alright, let's drop some more mines over there. Uh, where are you here? Here we go. Attack round. This guy's going this way. Let's just drop it on the Banshee. Engage the, target. the other ones are already covered, so we're good there. Let's just keep it going. Now, I think we got a couple of mine dispensers left, you. don't we? You don't. You got fast gams. Move into here. Rolling. As long as we keep generating a couple of evasion pips, you know, I feel a lot better. Same thing, we'll drop it on the Banshee. Locked and loaded. It's so sad because we can't really get into okay. a direct fire battle with these guys until their legs are low enough that we can actually just... Oh, he's going down. Come on, you drunk bastard, where are you going? Whose turn is it? Oh, it's my turn, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw him wobbling and I thought he was getting ready to move and then I thought he was going to fall over so I thought, oh great, he's going to fall over. Um, actually, are you in medium laser range? You're not, so there's no point in going there. We'll just go here. Moving out. I was going to say if he was in medium laser range we'd take a pot shot at him, but I think we're far enough away. Standard, follow the leader. Incendiary. Uh, this guy must be super hot right now, so let's give him a little bit more. If we can keep him from firing, that'd be great. Confirm. He's taking two direct hits. Alright, now we go this route and this route. And we got some range now. Let's get behind this turret and shoot. <laughs> well, shoot the no, we're going to move here, like this. God, the heat is just insane. We'll drop some rounds on this guy. Maybe we get a couple of leg hits. I don't know. Alright, whatever. You never know. We might get the, that, that elusive uh, head hit too, right? Oh, did he walk? Yeah, good, good boy. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. How you liking them mines? Now you're going to be a target for the turrets. 
Oop, got a sensor lock on us. His other leg must be into to, uh, internal structure, too. Yeah, it is. Ah, you're going through the mines. I apologize. There you go. Damn, man. Too bad this is the last battle because this would be a massive upgrade <laughs> for all our guys here. Oh well. This server mech playthrough, I gotta say, has been really, really enjoyable. Um, just so you know, I'm, I'm, the reason why I'm finishing off the series uh, relatively quickly is that we're getting the um, Orders? the next uh, um, scenario for the uh, battle. Re I, I keep calling it the battle report series, but it's not really. Um, it's mostly role playing series. So, um, it's, uh, I guess I should just be calling it that, but Let's we're move. getting the, um, the next, uh, scenario for the, uh, role-playing series up and running, and, uh, I want to be able to focus on that. Oh, so we do have the two dispensers. Let's get rid of those while we can. Target acquired. Uh, so I want I'm going to be getting that up and running. It's going to require a lot of my, uh, time and focus, so my Battletech playthroughs will be coming out of, out of that range. actual series, so I'll, it'll be like a duplicate, uh, series playthrough like or a regular like Rotec playthrough but within that series somebody has uh they put a hole in my armor I was gonna say they had tandem but they don't they just blew through my armor um but yeah so it'll be a, a rogue like a regular Rotec playthrough I've got a couple lances that are gonna Waiting be in it um we'll be focusing on uh, one more than the others but um got it. Let's, uh... He's got two medium X pulses in a long time. If we Warlord this... What's the chance to hit this guy? 28? Let's just cycle around and see what we got here. So yeah, as I was saying, it'll be like a regular Rogue Tech playthrough. Actually, that's not bad. Stalker's in the notoriously hot. But he doesn't seem to be. Although this guy... I think the mines will take care of him. He won't even get out of that valley. Jesus, this guy's got a lot of LRMs, eh? Yeah, well. That didn't hit. Nope, apparently not. Should have shot for the uh, for the victor. So anyway, yeah. So we'll have the the uh, the playthrough um, running at the same time as. Uh, um, this series, so my next series will be based on the unit that I'm playing. I, I, I don't know. I'm saying this over and over again, but it'll be, it'll be basically the the, um, the unit that I'm or units that I'm playing in the uh, um, the role playing scenario. So that'll be my next uh, campaign. Now let's drop the last of the Lerms Thunder right here. What do you mean no weapon? Oh, is it outside of my range? That's shooting. Okay, fine, whatever. As long as they're going over there. I'm out of LRM. So it should be interesting. I've got. My uh, HQ battalion and the supply battalion are actually in that scenario. They are background units. They're not really meant to be played every single day. They're just the um, uh, basically the he where the headquarters of all the units are going to be and the supply for all of the units. So they're they're just there as protection. So I'll run those if they if there was a if they get in jeopardy. Um, Standing by. I'll uh, probably record that and play. Uh, so you guys can watch those battles. But then my main lance, well, it's lances, but it's one one unit. I've got a, um, well, I'll, I'll leave it as a surprise. Because the, uh, the playthrough, you get six months of uh, fighting time before you actually start the playthrough. Location confirmed. That's not including travel time. So you can build up your unit based on that. So I've got two quite separate units, both with four Target mechs confirmed. and two vehicles. Um, that I'll be using for um, uh, for my playthrough. Amazing. Both of them are technically part of the same unit, but they're actually two separate playthroughs. If that makes sense. Affirmative. 
just because it was easier to to, uh, to keep them uh, separated like that. Okay, we may get a we may get a pen shot on one of the sides here. There you go. One more for the trashy. Excellent. We're not going to get full kills on this as it's round six. So we've got f three more rounds left after this one, but we're Don't actually not doing twice. all that bad. Okay, you need to help the victor out. Let's help this victor a little bit. We're putting some more mines right in front of him. Roger that. Firing on target. Thank you. Thank you very much. So anyways, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, the first uh, scenario is actually a lunar battle, so that's a, that should be really interesting. And then the second scenario is, in a, is a uh, much, like the first battle is a lunar battle. Uh, it's kind of a defend, I don't want to call it a defend base mission, but it's pretty much like that. It's like uh, defending your base against the enemy. And then the, um, okay, let's hit this guy with some infernos. Aye, aye. And then the, the next one after that is a, is a much, much larger map. It's going to be a lot more turns, but it's like, it's going to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good fight. I'm just interested to see how the lunar one goes because it's uh, it's an environment we haven't played on yet um, through most of my playthroughs. So that that uh, all the battles for that first scenario will take place in a lunar environment or a Martian environment if I can't find a lunar environment to to do a mission on. But standing by. Um, yeah, that guy did have um, tandem ammo. Can I get in the trees here? I cannot. I can get in the trees back here though. Keep front Come armor on. facing. And we can't really respond to that guy, but we can drop a bolt-on mortar shot over here. That. Hopefully it doesn't clear the mines. Yeah, but the the, the uh, lunar environment should be really interesting because, of course, it's really, really hot, right? It's like twice the heat almost, so the battle should be... Ah, oh, thank you. The battle should be fun. And we've got, I think, uh, the first series, th or the first... Um, uh, battles that we did, we had. Moving to position. I think we had ten players, eleven players, and I think we've got about eight this time, which is good. We've got a, we've lost a couple of the old faces, and it was just a time commitment thing, and that, that's totally fine. Um, and then we've got people returning. We've got a few new faces, so it should be really good. There's going to be people running multiple lances too, so there'll be a fair number of units on the board. It's all designed for role playing, like I said. Ooh, that guy's got an AC twenty. It's basically designed for role playing, so each each one of my battles will be. Um, What's up, boss? Okay, let's get you back here. Got it. Um, each one of my battles will just kind of give people an update as to what happened. Um, during the turns. Locked on target. Oh, I didn't get the CT, eh? Um, so it'll give you an idea of what's going on on the on a greatest scale of things, but then it'll just be you'll just be seeing what my battle, like my fights are. So it'll be a little bit like the battle for Astrakazi, with the exception that I'm not controlling all of the units. The players are controlling most of the units, and then you're just going to see my battles based on that and the, de the development of the map board. Now, if you guys are interested, like once you see the first scenario, if people are interested in wanting to contribute or play or whatever, um, I am setting it up so that um, people who want to do a lot of fighting can jump in. I've probably said this before, but people who want to do a lot of fighting can uh, jump in. And I think it's going to be probably two turns per week, which might end up being four battles for you, depending, like one on your turn, one on the enemy turn, then one more on your turn, the second turn, and then one on the second enemy turn. So you could have up to four battles a week. Um, most of the that time, it, it, it might not be that because you might be just moving to a different location. That might not, you might, en might not end up in combat or whatever. But um, I'm also doing it so that people who don't, who are not necessarily don't, but who can't commit to that kind of time uh, constraint. Lots on target. Um, there's also going to be secondary missions that help out the main goal that will be run um, that don't that won't be like t that time sensitive so if you complete your task whenever you complete it that's just fine we're gonna lose this carrier oh, maybe not 
Depends how much internal structure I got left. If this fire is going to take it out or not. Oh, we're still good. We got one point of armor on the front. <laughs> Who's next? Orders. Monsieur Lemo. All right, you got to cool off. Um, let's just step into here. I got you. Well, wow, that's a lot of heat drop, eh? <laughs> Jesus. Finally out of the minefield. Good God. Good job, buddy. Come on, kill him. Kill him. That guy's going down before the end of the match, that's for sure. I mean, we might get the Banshee as well. Standing by. All right, let's see if we can get we can get you on somebody. Let's get into here. Move order. Makes it harder for us to hit, but also harder for them to hit us. Let's see if we can drop this guy. I think we probably can. You're worthy of a warlord. Come on, bail out. That hit something good. Nope. I'm out of long range missiles. I'm super interested as to why they would build a battle master with uh, that many missile launchers. Because usually the battle master isn't that a battle master like a close-in brawler. Taking the shot. Think I hit some. Well, he's done. I think the pilot took a wound there and passed out. I've been noticing that that's been happening a whole lot now, where a mech will just topple over and I'm assuming that's because the the pilots have taken wounds and died but I'm getting far far you. too many full um, pieces of max like all three pieces um, to assemble a mech at the end of a match way more so than I should be I know I shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth but it just feels it feels dirty to get mechs that way where you really haven't won the fight w against them, they just kind of like wounded out. I guess is the way to go, or way to say it. Locking on target. It just feels cheap to me. Good to go. Especially if it's a good fight. Like I, I don't feel like I I don't like the fact that um, it had to che cheap out being that way. Wait. Who had the AC-20 then? How did that guy take 100 damage? Was it the Long Tom that hit him for 100? Probably was. Probably was. Okay. Aye, aye. Crap. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'll be posting another link for the Discord Waiting on you, Commander. Uh, in the community uh, section of, the, uh, of my YouTube channel. So go check that out if you're interested in joining and playing. There's still time to put together a Lance. Um, and even if you don't make the first battle, which, um, that being said, the first battle really isn't going to be that long, I don't think, what I've got planned. It's just sort of an introduction because the rules have changed slightly since the first playthrough that we did. Minor damage, Commander. So I, I'm just kind of using here. this first scenario as a uh, introduction and um, Standing by. a rules test because there's a few things that, that are, that are um, changing. Uh, let's go to there. Yeah, we're in we're internal. All right, we should be out of the, those guys' LRM range theoretically. Let's just ta tag this banshee. Um, he's standing in water, so incendiary is kind of a waste of time. Like, well, yeah, I guess so. So yeah, hop over to the Discord. And even if you don't want to play, you can just see what's going on. Um, there's going to be a role play channel, so the the commanders can talk to each other. Uh, Roleplay wise, and there's like a out of uh, character channel and stuff that, that communications will be happening in, and then there's either be channels for the battles. So each each scenario will have its own channel. Did that guy just eject? He ejected. Victor's gone. We got three rounds left, and they're down to like I'm three max. On my way. So yeah, anyway, it should be good. Like, I mean, it should be a good um, good scenario. Uh, or the scenario should be pretty good. The players are actually all really good. Like I said, they, most of them know each other. Um, so, and they're all a good group of people. Reading you loud and clear. 
So yeah, please just hop over to the Discord if you're interested Sounds in joining. Good. I'm moving. Be kind of cool to have like uh, a little unwieldy, but kind of cool to have a massive map with a bunch of people playing. Makes the turns a little longer, but it could be really enjoyable. Also, too, like as far as time commitment goes, like I said, they'll be like, we might play four missions a week. I don't know how often this guy's dead. Ooh, don't bounce, don't, don't, Reporting don't fail. Oh, okay. Ready for orders. Location. I'm gonna see if I can get that guy out of there. We'll sprint away. Um, what was I saying? Great group of people. Um, let's drop some mines for this guy to enjoy. Um, but yeah, like if you don't have the, uh, the uh, or you don't want to do the like a, like a mass amount of time commitment, like maybe you can only play once or twice, like one or two uh, missions a week or whatever, or log into the Discord a couple times a week. I can set up something for you to do. Like that's the thing is that you know, just because you can't. Um, be there as often as everybody else doesn't mean you still can't have missions and stuff to do. Like I said, there's going to be side missions and stuff in each of the scenarios for those people who don't have the same time commi commitment that want to get involved that um, let's go right there I think Roll to that, that want to get involved and enjoy the play and be part of the community they can, they can still do that and if for whatever reason you need to to like like not play for a while, that's perfectly fine too because um, I can leave your unit on the board and just set them up like they, they won't be attacked or anything, and we'll just move them around where they need to be so that when you do come back, you're still in a position to continue playing. You know, it's not like you'd be picking up way behind enemy lines and then have to catch up to everybody. Your your unit will already be there. So you can just kind of pick up from where you left off. All right, let's see if we can get this guy. Let's go here. You got it. It's kind of the extended range of the ATMs, but how badly damaged this guy's legs? Not that he's. Th we're just we in into the internal, but ooh, that's nice. Oh baby, you read my mind. Reporting critical hit. Let's drop this mother. There goes the leg. This guy's done for, man. Okay, let's hope he goes down earlier rather than later. Ready for orders. See if we can get that stalker. Okay, let's go here. Heading out. I want you to switch targets though. Um Oh, do we? No, let's go for the. Just try and get the kill. What do we got left here? Tandem and standard. Let's go standard. Come on, bail out. Bail out. That hit something good. I only took like three salvage on this one too, because we're like right now this this company is at 1.9 million for a financial report. So I had to take, I only got a million in the bank, so I had to take like, oh sorry, one, yeah, 1.9 million per financial report. I had to take 1.5 million and three salvage on this Ready one, just so that I can make my next financial report. All right, let's get you as close as we can get you. On my way. You're, you're bound, you're going to be a hero here today if you, if you get, if you make this shot. Okay, we can do enough damage. Just land them both. Engaging. Well, okay. You hit both. Didn't hit them in the right Ready spot. Thumper. 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 20%. 28. Let's go after this guy. On. Man. I don't know what it is about those victors that Order. you were enjoying, but you just don't like that guy. That's fine. Let's see if we can get the leg here. Firing. Ammo explosion. No, Mech torso. Destroyed. Well, you're still down. Good enough. 
I can look a gift horse in the mouth. Yes, Commander. Okay, Monsieur Le Manger Le Boeuf. Let's turn this way. Aye, aye. He's gonna shoot you, let him shoot the other arm off. So you can keep that LBX rolling. And I don't think this is gonna make a difference, but let's use it. Why not? Oh, it it will. What do you know? Affirmative. Yes, that's the that's that's the herald of letting him know he's the next mech to die. I could go after the Marauder too, but it's 15 more tons of armor, so or 15 tons bigger and more armor, so this is just better off going after the stalker. I hear you. Still, that random chance that we might get it. Uh, are we in rocket range? Don't know. We'll find out. Much as I want to go fast gam. Uh, you know what? Let's leave it on fast gam. He's got one more round of movement. That's the only thing in range, anyway. Sure. You betcha. Why not? AC2 magazines are empty. If you had here. acid, I would have switched to that, but. So that's the right and back. Let's go like that. Don't think it's gonna matter. If they decide to shoot for it, it's done. But with so many guys on the stalker now, he might decide to not even bother shoot for that LRM carrier. Round nine. We got like two turns left, guys. If we pull a mech down each turn. Okay, you got large lasers. Let's see if we can get you to a position where we can shoot the stalker, but not the, uh... Like right there. Taking her to top speed. All right. Get some damage on this guy. I'm locked in. Yes. Orders. I do not expect that my next two matches with the dragons rejects and the. Uh, Night guns to go this this smoothly. I just don't expect it to happen. Let's go here. I don't oh want God. that guy to see me. I mean, he can just move over and shoot me, but maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. Do we have follow the leader? We do. It's sixty nine percent. Let's risk it for the biscuit. We hit with one. They all get hit the same location. Yep. Leg hit. Nice, so that's 60 no damage in the leg. Remaining. Yeah, I never used to yes, use follow the leader, but I gotta say I'm enjoying having that just like half ton of that hanging around. Wait, you got acid, right? You do. So let's not expose. That half ton of tandem for when you had those good chances to hit makes all the difference, you know? I mean, I'm sure you guys know. I will admit though, like, and I'm sure you guys know, I get stuck in my ways where I kind of like think I've figured out the best way to play, but really I don't think there really is. Well, you know, short of like just Order. not taking pirate gear. <laughs> you know I don't care. If you guys love pirate gear, use it, but I'm just... Moving to position. That one time it fails when you absolutely need to need it not to fail is, uh more than enough for me to say nope I've had enough of that Confirm. there you go we got one turn to finish off the Marauder 2 let's get him guys come on you're gonna wait for me to do most of the damage are ya we're gonna I don't think we'll get this guy
Okay, 23 landmines. He's loving that cloud buster. I'm under heavy fire. Yeah, I know. We got a good chance to pull. Okay, see what I mean? What's up? That's a lot of leg damage. So this is still the end of the turn, right? Round nine. Let's get to a point where we can see this guy fairly Roger. well. And what do we got left? Tandem? The problem with the tandem is these tubes could jam this turn. So let's go with standard this turn. We'll switch over to tandem next turn. And um, hope for a through armor crit and we just blow something up. But I want to have both launchers available because last time we used both two, two tubes of tandem, one of them Receiving you. got jammed. I don't want that. No, sir. I don't want it. Aye, aye. Let's keep the damage coming. Firing. Waiting for orders. Move order received. Okay, come on. Land this shot and warm his ass up so he can't really shoot back at us. Confirm. Well, at least he's in fire. Damn it. Well, he's in fire. Better than the last few Before. shots you, you fired away. Um... Drop that heat so you can fire next what turn. What can I do for you? We can move forward. Still out of range of these rockets. Well, we're gonna push forward as best we can. Hopefully, we get within range. Um, yeah, let's go Inferno. Got it. Lower how much he's shooting back at us. Hell, yeah, you'll still go all out. Ready for orders. They always do. Yeah, see, this guy's firing head on, and he's hitting both sides of the cloudbuster pretty much. Well, I don't know. He's spreading the damage pretty good, I guess. You need to sprint as far as you can. Get as much Calling evasion out. as you can. Two points. Three. Yeah. Firing again. Locking on target. Yes, one hit. Beautiful. Looked like a leg hit. Could have been a torso. Commander. And yes, I know I could turn on the uh, the thing that tells me where I hit, but I, I prefer not knowing. Going full throttle. Yeah, I think that was a leg hit. All right, let's hammer him. Affirmative. Aye, aye. Can we get you in a range? Don't think so. Let's not take any chances. I don't want anybody right, to die. Full speed. Come on, turrets. Any damage, that's 50 points. Any damage is good damage. Alright, about 20 more. Okay, last turn. I live to serve. Tell you what, why don't you just serve this guy some shit right in his face? On my way. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright, we're not in range with anything else, but we'll take these. I should have saved the warlord. I realized that after the last turn when I clicked on it, I should have saved it for the large laser, but... Ah, shit, we missed. Ass is what I'm more concerned about, though. Three hits, nice. Yes, Commander. Increase that incoming damage. Roll to that. Nope, incendiary, please. Let's keep this guy's ass toasted. Roll to that. Okay, he's opening the leg. Nine. Okay, we'll take it. Panicking. Yep. Are you completely, you're completely out of range, even with the ATMs? Oh, no you're not. Oh. Moving to full throttle. 
Come on, be the hero today. Be the hero we need. Engine crit. Critical hit. He goes on 19, eh? We're still going before him? You have my attention. Um We're going on 23. We've got another 19. We got a 20. So we need to do an offensive push here. Copy that. Accelerating. Thank you. Hopefully pushes initiative back one so that our 19s can go. Hold that leg. Target confirmed. Yep, it pushed it back one. Okay, not bad. Did he, is that a knockdown? Heavy damage. Not a knockdown. Short range missiles are out. Yeah, it says she's, she says she's taking heavy damage, but I don't know from what. I still got two my dispensers left. Doesn't matter at this point. Moving out. But I'm gonna shoot him. Because I got him. I don't think the tandems are in range. I know this doesn't matter, but I'm walk. just gonna do it anyway. Alright, we gotta kill this guy. Acid ammo it is. Um what else do we have? Guided is 99%. Nah, I want acid because I want to increase the damage from everybody else. Die. Oh, that would have been lovely if he did, but we got the knockdown. Short range missiles are out. He's done. He's not even gonna get to go this turn. Don't walk away from him, he's he's there for you! Okay, everything CT. Did he just What happened? It was one head hit, it was two or three health, and then what? He just decided he had enough and just ended? Well, that was kind of like... Mission successful. What? I have to say, that's so much disappointment when shit like that happens. He had two or three health left. I don't know if he bled out or went unconscious or what the hell happened. But he just decided that the mech, the mech was terminated. And I've been getting that a lot lately, and it's just so frustrating when you want to continue the fight and get the satisfaction of blowing the enemy up, but then the pilot's just like, eh, whatever. Anyway, whatever. It's still a victory. We didn't lose anybody in the fight. I don't even think we lost a component. Did we? This guy took the most damage. No industrial TSMs always that color. So I don't think we lost any components at all. Like, honestly, the TBM carrier didn't even die. Which is shocking. I'm just assuming that it didn't blow up because we had used almost all of the ammo by that point. So, getting an ammo crit would have been impossible because most of the ammo is already spent. And nothing on the Cloudbuster. There you go. Half skull, red mission. Alright, salvage wise. I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Oh yeah, this, so this playthrough we need five pieces, right? Yeah, so we got four from the Archer, one from the Banshee, three from the Battlemaster, Cyclops, all five Cyclops pieces. So I'm interested to see what four Longbow, one, two, three, yeah, all the Marauder pieces, because the guy punked out. He just decided that he wasn't going to continue the fight and just punked out and that was it. I mean, not that it matters because this playthrough is not based on that, but I would probably take the AMS Mark II. Um, heavy rotary AC5, holy crap. That weighs how much? 14 tons. There's no way to really implement that. I mean, I guess I could. X pulses are probably useless. Advanced zoom. Most of my guys have advanced optics 3, so this is really useless to me. Um, I think there's a few that could, could probably use it. Predator is not a bad choice, simply because we're generally fighting at longer ranges. Not a bad choice. Um, double heatsink kits, quick sell heatsink kit. Tracker sensors are nice too. The minus two at short range is an issue, but if they get to if they're at short range and they're not light mechs, we're dead anyway. So um, it's still pretty good.
supercharger AMS double yeah you know what as ridiculous as this is for the like I mean heavy rack 5 double and the heavy rack would be really nice and probably in any other playthrough that's what I would go for but with just urban mechs I'm limited to 30 tons so I'm limited like weight limits are like major issue but well, these are the kind of things that I would have to replace when I get damaged in mechs and they're hard to find so I would take these probably we're not going to be using it this is that's the last for this playthrough but still that's probably what I would go for see what we get out of that a couple battle master parts and router parts arrow 4 long tom sell the armor I would probably sell the quick sell engine the thing about the quick sell is that um, yeah it's a double heat sink kit but it only sinks it's not 60 heat it's 40 and the, the quick sell double heat sinks only sink uh, four additional heat rather than six so I mean it's marginally better than a regular heat sink kit but for the most part I probably would never use it yeah all right so 1800 or 18,000 that's not bad for repairs at all like if you think about how much we were up against I'm kind of still shocked because if you think about it who got taken down too easily the longbow went down fairly easily. The cyclops went down really easy. The marauder 2 at the end went down really easy. Um, I think the banshee, the stalker, and the battle master were all pretty fair fights. As well as the victor. Their artillery victor. The shrek was a fair fight. The afrit was a fair fight. The archer was a fair fight. And the griffin was a fair fight. So, I mean, well, the Griffin was XL engine, so it was a pretty easy takedown. But yeah, I think, you know, overall it was a couple, only a couple of mechs that kind of cheaped out at the end there. The rest of it was a good fight. So, yeah, there you go. Eight urban mechs taking on a, a uh, half skull right now. Like I said, if, I, it was, if it was anything else, like a, even like an open battle or any of that stuff, where the enemies don't have another target to go for, we would be dead. And in that case, you'd want to enable um, allied lances and hope you got additional allied lance that could help you out. Um, but I'm playing with that off, so I'd, I never get allied lances. So, yeah. Uh, let's have a quick look in the barracks now before we finish this playthrough up. Just to see where turnaround ended up. So, we have a few pilots here that are kind of like almost from the very beginning of play here. Like Onakumba was one of our... Um, pilots from the very beginning she was the uh, vehicle pilot 49 deployments um, 17 kills 24 other kills so 41 kills that's not bad for it's almost one kill per deployment pretty good turn around yeah, what do we I got agree. here 63 deployments 37 mech kills 39 so that's pretty good not bad a little over one kill per mission uh, Skippy was yeah, here from the beginning yeah, very little mech kills and other kills because like she was on the artillery vehicle the whole time. So, yeah, she piloted the uh, the urban tank with the uh, thumper the whole time. And then who else did we have? Outcast was there from the beginning. 64 deployments, 39, 31. It's not too bad. Uh, Metal Arc Lemon came a little bit later. So 29 deployments, but he did pretty good. 34 kills. Who else? Lifeboat, I think, was there from the beginning. Yeah, 53 deployments. That's a, that's actually pretty good. Another 71 kills right there. Was Nickel there from the beginning? I can't remember. I don't think so. No, 43. He came a little later. And then... Carrick was our... Um, LRM, SRM, Urban Tank. 58 missions. So she did pretty good too. But I mean, it's technically a mech, right? The thing about the urban tank is it's technically a mech, right? Veteran guts plus one gut, guts boost for urban tank. That's interesting. I didn't know that that uh, was possible. Because she piloted that thing for the whole time. I didn't think the vehicles actually gave you anything. Receiving you. Did she get anything for the... Uh, yeah, for the Cloudbuster. Because she was piloting the Cloudbuster pretty much the whole time. Yes, Commander. And Skippy should probably have... Yeah, for the urban tank. Interesting. And the rest of these, okay, beef eaters, another one of the uh, guys we had from the very beginning. 58 missions. Uh, a little less kills, 50 kills. 
Still not bad, though. Yeah, see, see... You know, Urban Mechs, it's like plus one pilot, piloting, plus one gunnery, plus two right arm mounted accuracy, which is where your heaviest weapons are anyway. So it's pretty good for 30-ton mech with that plus two bonus. I mean, you don't have the lower arm actuator at all, so that's a bit of a drawback. You're really only getting plus one bonus, but still, they're not that bad. Especially when you put a faster engine in it. So let me see here. Me you, you were need. what? How many missions? 63. Same thing. So that's it for that. So, mech bays. We ended up with a fair number of mechs at the end. I mean, we had our second Lance. Plus I had a trebuchet and a kit fox I never did get in, into service. And our storage, I think we had a couple of vehicles. Did we have a couple of vehicles? Yeah, we have the uh, LBT-5 hover. Um, which had a PPC SRM4. I, I really didn't put it into play. It was just really a backup in case we lost the uh, carrier. Uh, what are these guys? Oh, the Arctic Cheetahs. Uh, Incubus. We could put the, into play if we want to for the additional lances. Ripper, Thorn. Not much. So, yeah, I was just trying to keep all the lights up. I mean, I do have a few heavy mechs here, but I wasn't really interested in doing a final assembly. I was interested in getting enough parts for them to put them together and then hopefully get some items off them and then just scrap them. But, yeah. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're looking forward to the next two for the Dragon's Rejects and the Night Gods. That's coming up very shortly. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed the content, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, hop over to the Discord to check out what's going on for the next series. And until next time, we'll see you later.